Okay, this is some weeks later from the original recording and we had to go back and forth on this simply because she just wasn't getting it. Uh, the moment that I put the hole into the seat, she began to freak out. Um, you know, I think it's mainly because of the water. So the transition didn't go as smoothly as I thought it would. Uh, you know, she is kind of anxious. She is kind of nervous and she's still a baby. So I would highly recommend to know your um, kitty's habits, basically, their bathroom habits in particular. And for her, she doesn't cha take change very well. So I had to do it in increments. Although I did reward her um, with a few of the temptations, which she absolutely loves, and a few irresistibles, it was like I've never punished her. And that didn't happen till yesterday, sad to say, and I hate myself for it. But she's been having accidents, and, um, you know, she just wasn't getting it. At first, she was using it, and then all of a sudden, she started using the bathroom on the towels. She started using the bathroom in the kitchen. And yesterday, I had put her in the... Um, the bathroom here so that she could use a potty um, you know because she's been holding it like for uh, more than 10 hours and when I came to check on her I stood on this mat and I know that she went to the bathroom but I couldn't find out where and it definitely wasn't in the seat and lo and behold it was there right there on the mat and I was just disgusted when I found out that I was tracking it all over the place and then it hit me. So as I mentioned, um, you know, I wasn't too happy and, uh, you know, we had to take it to the next level because, um, you know, she knew what reinforcement and positive uh, behavior got rewarded with and, um, you know, she had not gotten that mom wasn't too happy about it. So we gave her a timeout by putting her in the bathtub. She hates the bathtub. She absolutely dislikes it. So she stayed in there for a little bit. And then she knew that she did something wrong. So what I've done is stay consistent. I did not give up. I ordered a seat's uh, toilet seat, as you can see. A seat's bath is what they're called. Um, and I looked it up online and they do fit to the toilet seats and this is really nice because I can keep the first um, seat for myself when I need to go and then the actual toilet seats bath uh, mimics a toilet seats for her so that she can balance. So I punctured a hole in it and um, I've been watching her and trying to help her aim in the hole. Uh, you know, when she does the number two, she's able to get it. Um, when she goes on a number one, she uses the actual rim um, that's like around here where that you see the, the kitty litter. And um, we're trying to get her to aim in the hole. But what I did, and it's kind of gross, but I'll describe it. I put uh, some of the um, scoopable... Um, flushable kitty litter in the seat's bath underneath it because again she was freaked out by the water and uh, my goal is to remove that after she masters this step here and gets a little bit more comfortable. Um, hopefully this works um, so far um, you know it's been working she's been using it and uh, hasn't had any accidents and um, you know, I know that she's anxious, so, uh, you know, I called Ki City Kitty and told them about my issue. And one of the suggestions that they mention is to get a um, comfort zone spray. And this one's uh, Nature's Miracle. And it's uh, not bad so far. I sprayed it around the toilet seat. They have other ones, too, that you can use that go in the water, but I wanted to... Uh, use the least invasive uh, procedure here and um, I sprayed this around the toilet seat and so far she's been calm as she goes to the bathroom 
and um, you know so far so good and we're gonna stay at this level for quite a while uh, maybe I'll get some footage of her while she's on the toilet seat here um, sometimes she aims in the hole and sometimes not so again the goal is to get her used to it um, maybe I might do a step before and add water in the seats bath on the bottom rather than the kitty litter and then remove the, the seats bath before adding more holes or removing more rings. So we'll see what works with her. Again, every cat is different. So some are not as finicky as mine. Um, so you would have to kind of go on the level of what your cat is comfortable with, but do not give up. Uh, you know, stay persistent, just, you know, take it baby steps and just be really creative in ways that you can, um, you know, solve the problem. And uh, thank you for watching and, um, you know, hopefully we catch her the next time. We'll see if our star is around.